go to the create menu and create a polygon cube scale uniformly this cube outwards then change the camera to side press F on keyboard and you will able to see focus of your object now scale uniformly inwards again and set the object on the grid now press insert key on keyboard and change the pivot point to the bottom now again insert key press insert the uh, insert key and now get the move tool and move the object upwards and sit at the grid change the camera again to perspective now scale on y axis and make object a little bit shorter but also it is the better that you scale the object on y axis as short as a floor press the 5 key on keyboard and go to the shaded mode of your object now press the Y handle of compass and go to the top camera now go to the edit polygon and get the split edge ring tool now split the four edges exactly one grid nearer to the corner like this go to the perspective camera you are going to model room a simple room with one window and one door where your door will should be built exactly here or here I think here split another edge as the width of the door now you will extrude the wall faces select the faces that will make a wall ultimately you have no need to select the door step face so deselect by pressing the control key and with LMB make sure that you have selected the all faces go to the added polygon menu and press extrude face don't change the coordinate system and move upwards the blue handle as high as a door height should be and once again extrude these faces go to the added polygon and press extrude face extrude blue handle upwards a little bit higher at this point leave the tool and uh, get the select tool deselect the selected faces and focus the camera exactly on the top faces of the door and select them one and then shift select the other at this point once again extrude the faces and move on Z axis towards each other as nearer as you can leave the tool and go to the vertex component mode by right clicking the marking menu and then go to the wireframe board by pressing the 4 key on keyboard close the vertices of both sides and go to the added polygon and to the merge vertices function option set the distance a little bit and press the button merge vertex then again select these vertices and press the G key on keyboard the G key fetches the previous command which you have done in the previous step select the third pair of the vertices and press G on keyboard select the fourth pair of vertices and press G on keyboard now you have merged the vertices sets press the 5 key to go back the shaded mode now you have this shape of a room again go to the faces vertices uh, faces component mode and select the top faces of the walls once again go to the added polygons and extrude the faces move upwards the blue handle 
as high as it should be now leave the tool go to the object selection mode and see your work get the wireframe on shaded go to the shading menu of the camera menus and wireframe on shaded now you are able to see the edges without selection at this point create an other cube move upwards the roof the shaded mode of the object at this point open the channel box under the shapes inputs group select the poly cube 2 and highlight the subdivision width and then press control on keyboard and highlight the subdivision depth then right drag your MMB and increase the resolution of the roof close the channel box you have a cemented room shape but you are going to make a mud made room of a Pakistani village select the room itself and get the component board by right clicking on faces drag and select all the faces and subdivide them go to the added polygon and subdivide them now try the smooth function in polygon menu and smooth all the faces of the room now select the roof and go to the polygon menu and smooth the roof too select the roof again and scale it uniformly in inwards a little bit lesser than the room move your roof downward a little bit select the room and right click anywhere in the workspace and go to the materials assign a new material by getting the Lambert shader click the color swatch and make a mud color just like dry sand something like this in my idea and accept the color select the roof assign the same color to the roof blim make closer your room and press render current frame at this point we are not satisfied with our work close the render dialog and open the hyper shade go to the window menu rendering editors and hyper shade right click your color and get the graph network now assign a bump map with fractal texture not fractal fractal click this with MMB and drag onto the material a manual will pop up choose the bump map expand the network and double click the material minimize the hyper shade and go to the bump 2d1 set the bump depth value to 0 0.07 and press enter take render scene now wow you have very bad texturing close the render scene right click on the object and get the faces 
select all the faces of the row and then go to the polygon UVs and get the automatic mapping now render your scene once again beautiful we have a beautiful village house room of perhaps Pakistan